All across the country, American families are seeing those images of tragedy. Small children hearing what happened at an elementary school. So we ask ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, for a guide on what you say to your children. Rich. That's right. Just as, 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 as adults scramble today to protect children, you know, there are things you can do tonight to protect your children from the vulnerable emotions, from the tragedy that's affecting us all. How you do that will depend on their age. If your child is seven or under and is sitting with you right now, my advice, let them go into another room. If they haven't heard about the shooting, they don't need to know about it. You know your child best. If they're between seven and 12, talk to them about it. Don't lie. Don't evade, but tell them they're safe. Something like this, where someone hurts a child in a school, is so incredibly rare. It never happened to mom or dad or anyone we know, and the man who did it is gone now. It's over. Ask how they feel about it. Tell them it's okay to be sad, that you're sad. Support whatever they feel and tell them that you'll keep them safe. But sharing some extra hugs will have more effect on their body chemistry than asking them over and over if they're all right. For teens, watch to see how they react. Ask them to talk about it, and you can use this to have a real conversation. Why do they think it happened? You might want to direct them to some volunteer work so they feel that they can be working to improve things. For all kids, keep your routine. Children are reassured if their world continues in a normal way. Bedtime is bedtime tonight. Basketball practice, it happens tomorrow. It shows them the world is still normal. If they want you to take them to school on Monday, that's fine. But going back to school on Monday proves to them that you're not worried, so they won't be. Particularly if you're a parent, this can be traumatic for you as well. So reach out and ask for extra hugs. You know, talk with your friends. You have to take care of yourself if you're going to be there for your children. And tell us more about the signs of something wrong, even if your child doesn't tell you. Right. I mean, it's normal to have a stress reaction, but a child who's not sleeping, who's not eating, who can't focus, a, a child who is, is hyper worried, they, they can't think about anything else, who's not able to return to their normal activities after a week or two, they need to get special help. And again, as you've been saying, don't assume because they say nothing. That's right. They're not feeling yeah. something. Thank you, Rich.